Good morning, friends, and a happy Thursday. April here from Medwell Health and Wellness with my partner in crime, Emily Waxman. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it is Emily and I's favorite day of the week, Medwell Unscripted. I can't even believe we're actually into November. We, uh, you know, we kind of do these seasonally. We do these each quarter seasonally, and I, I, we're not like halfway through. We're like oh, more I know. than halfway through. I know. <laughs> we really had a phenomenal uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month series, which I am beyond thrilled. We had amazing guests. So for everyone that joined us, uh, thank you. And to all those amazing guests, thank you. I hope everyone enjoyed and, and learned a lot. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was a it was inspiring a and a month of absolute, like the knowledge that I've learned. I, like I actually recently, um, this past weekend, I had dinner with family and I was talking about um, these amazing women and just, yeah, learned a lot, learned a lot. We so sure did. Humbling. Yeah. All right, my friends. Um, so just to give you some housekeeping, we are tuning into YouTube, our uh, Medwell Health and Wellness page in Massachusetts on Facebook, our Medwell Health and Wellness page on Florida, and we are also streaming to LinkedIn today. So um, if you are here, drop in and say hello if you're catching the replay, because we know we have a lot of friends that catch the replays. Don't hesitate to say hello, where you're from, and also um, ask your questions. We will absolutely be sure to get back to answer them. And if it's not something I can answer immediately, I know that Otha will come back and answer it. I'll make sure that he gets that messaging too. So today, friends, we have um, our really exciting guest, Otha Smith. He's from Tetragram app, and he, it's a journaling app in the medical cannabis community. And we're really excited because he was with us last year and there's so much that has changed. And um, this gentleman is like busy and busting out the seams. He's talking about <laughs> up, upcoming trip to Vegas. Um, so today's topic is Tetragram changing how we manage our medical cannabis intake. And I know, um, you know, this is something that is that all of us that are using medical cannabis to for our uh, wellness, sometimes, you know, like, I don't know about you, but I forget things. Like if I don't write them down or if um, I'm busy and I, I, I do this sometimes with some medication that I have to take, I'll think that I took it. And then I'm like, hmm, did I take it? I should have wrote that down. And then I don't take it or I do take it. So um, it'll be an interesting conversation with uh, Otha today. See, um, and we're going to first start with um, some introductions and then we'll lead into Otha Smith and he can tell you about the Tetracam, Tetragram app way better than I can. So, um, but I promise you it will be life-changing. It's very cool. Um, so Emily, let's start with you. Talk about, gosh, you have some great community events coming up. You're um, you're a busy little bee. I bet you're looking forward to like the end of the year where you can like <laughs> and just relax for a while. Oh, I don't know, April. It never stops. It never stops. Education has to continue out there for everyone. So, uh, but yes, uh, you will be able to find me at all your local dispensaries. And uh, please make sure that you stop in and say hello. It is always an absolute pleasure to be able to speak to uh, patients uh, and even non-patients alike for anyone that's thinking about coming into the medical program, but you're not sure, you have some questions, uh, please make sure that you uh, stop in and, and say hello and, and ask your questions so that we can help answer and, and certainly try to make sure we demystify the process here. Uh, that's what we do at Med well. And uh, I have to say that I see a comment here from uh, our good friend, Heidi Whitman, who was our guest last week, uh, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, I should say. So uh, Heidi is coming to us from London. So we've got uh, London representation going on right now. So yeah, always also, this, is, this is actually a great Heidi. connection Thank for you. you so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, my friend Otha Smith from Tetragram, take it away and tell us a yes. little bit about yourself. <laughs> Appreciate you. Happy to be here today. Uh, so yeah, my name is Otha Smith. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of Tetragram. Uh, we're based out of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. You know, I'm a Maryland medical cannabis patient as well, and uh, really built Tetragram to help not only us as consumers, but the industry understand the impact of products purchased. Um, so it is a mobile application that, in the simplest way of describing it, you know, puts the power back into the consumer's hands because you know, so many products out there, no one knows what's really going to work best for you. Um, and so like anything else, in order for you to understand that, you have to start to document your experiences. 
Um, so if our app, it does just that track rate and share is what we live by. So really happy to be here today and to jump into further detail about what we're working on. Awesome. Awesome. I have so, to say one thing too, Arthur, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, April, no, but you know, it's as I, I was so excited about today and having you on Otha and you know, I want to make sure that I, I put this out there to the folks tuning in that this isn't just for just our, our you know, wonderful new patients that are, you know, coming on or, or uh, even if you're not a patient, just anyone that's new to cannabis. This is this can be for just even the folks that have been, you know, familiar with cannabis for the last, you know, 20, 30 years that have you know, been been using the products and they know how amazing it is. You know, I was thinking about, uh, you know, when you uh, even the folks that uh, are part of the program and you go and you get certified and they are recertified and you go and take advantage here in Massachusetts, you get all these amazing discounts for becoming a patient. So I have so many folks that will come up to me and say that they visited all these dispensaries and they they, you know, had a blast within the first 30 days of getting all these products. And, you know, what happens is that people, I think, put them all into one bag and then slowly we'll start to, you know, go through it and take things. And then you find something as you're, go, you know, trying things and you're like, wow, this is phenomenal. This is, I, I love this, <laughs> but you didn't make sure to, you know, make note of it or what it was. So then you're thinking, geez, where did I get this? Where, where, you know, what was this? What was in this? So, you know, it, this is why it's so wonderful that you're here today so that you can explain, you know, that this isn't just for the newbies out there. This is for folks that, you know, really want to make sure that, you know, they can get their hands on that product that they loved when they tried it initially and, and you know, need to remember where, where it came from and how it worked and then be able to even, uh, you know, recommend that to other folks that are within that community that, you know, you'll speak upon within the Tetragram world that can, you know, you can recommend that. So uh, really excited to have you today and and be able to explain further what I was just referring to. So, yeah. so Oth, I think, but I think um, one of the things that if you could start before, like, I, absolutely what Emily is talking about, but can you just share some of us, some of the audience are new to us. So I think it's important to just share kind of what the app is, kind of the background and how it came to be. Um, if you don't mind sharing that and then leading into, of course, who it's available and that anyone can use it. Cause I do think that's a very important element. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and Emily is exactly right. Like whether you're new to cannabis or been using cannabis for 20, 30 years, it's a new world out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I got the inspiration to develop and build Tetragram out of my own personal needs. So, you know, I've been using cannabis, geez, I think I started when I was 15 years old and, you know, grew up in an area of Maryland that was like really notorious for growing cannabis because it was a very rural area. Like I grew up on four acres of land, you know, everyone had a lot of space. So what were people doing? They were cultivating cannabis, right? So um, that being said, in 2006, that's where things changed dramatically for me because I was involved in a car accident where I suffered a TBI as a result. And so after years of using prescription pills, like Western medicine always recommends whenever you suffer any type of injury, um, I did that for three years and was just like, this is not what I'm about. You know, I've always been a very holistic person you know, I could count on one hand how many times I used pills prior. So, you know, I decided to switch back and say, forget the pills and put everything back into cannabis. But, you know, again, to Emily's point, being someone that's used cannabis for 15, since I was 15, once it became legal across the country, I was just completely overwhelmed and intimidated by the industry. You know, I thought I knew everything there was to know about cannabis when I first got my card and walked into a dispensary. But, you know, as a as a legacy user, you never heard of term terpenes or cannabinoids or, you know, the endocannabinoid system um, and let alone all these different ways that you can consume cannabis. So that's when I said, wow, this is totally a new world, a whole new industry. And so that's what led me to develop Tetragram because, you know, journaling is nothing new, um, whether you're you know, a fitness instructor, you're always probably going to recommend to your customers, use a, an app so you can monitor your fitness. Yes. Um, if you're a nutritionist, you're always going to tell your customers to use an app so they can monitor what food they intake. And the same relates to the cannabis industry, but even more so because 
since cannabis is federally illegal, none of us as consumers have information readily at our <laughs> fingertips that we can understand the impact of these products that are being presented to us. And that goes the full length of the industry, right? So if I go to a dispensary, you know, some dispensary uh, managers and staff are more knowledgeable than others, but at the end of the day, they're still learning just like us. Um, and the doctors who have, you know, taken the courage to say, I believe in this plant-based medicine, you know, they're eager to help their patients um, find the right product, the right dosing amount, but they're still learning as well. Yeah. And so this application, this beta version that I built, I just wanted to, in our first version, allow the consumer to say, I bought this product, but more importantly, these are the terpenes and cannabinoids associated with the product. And I think that's an important distinction that people need to understand that the product name, the strain name has zero impact on what that product is going to ultimately do for you. Um, it's kind of unfortunate the industry has kind of sensationalized these product names because it's really created this more uh, confusion about the industry. So understanding the terpenes and cannabinoids is something that we really harp on the consumer to understand and input into the platform. Um, then they can keep track of where they made that purchase too, which is very important because I'm sure we've all been there where we bought a product, we've liked it, we go back to the store maybe a week later or next month, and that product's no longer available. So it's really important to remember where you bought it and if it can be there again. Um, but then on top of that, we give people the ability to select how they're consuming the product. And we get very granular there. So if it's inhalation, for example, the first thing we're going to ask you is, you know, what device did you use? Was it a bong? Was it a vape? And then more importantly, what form did the product come in? Was it flour? Was it hash? And those are very important distinctions because, you know, if you use a bong as opposed to a blunt, you're going to have a completely different experience. Um, and then we allow the user to say, all right, I took four inhalations or five inhalations because it's all about finding that sweet spot in terms of the dosing amount. And then the customer can associate that product with a particular medical condition, such as anxiety or chronic pain, and then rate how effective or non effective that product was and share that information anonymously with other users. So that's one of the things I want to highlight, too, is that I made sure that Tetragram was HIPAA compliant. We don't ask for a customer's first or last name because we understand there's a lot of stigma about this product. Yeah. And so we want to make sure that we put the onus on ourselves to make sure that privacy was something we address in our application, which is why after you log a session with a product, you have the ability to choose. Do you want to share that session so that other people can learn from you? Or you can keep it private so that no one can see that history of products that you've been consuming. And that's really been fascinating to watch because a majority of people who are logging sessions in Tetragram are actively sharing their sessions because, you know, cannabis is, a, is I, I say this like a broken record, but it's a communal plant. It's probably the most communal plant in the world uh, where people are always sharing their experiences. And so it's really great to have that review section where, you know, you can filter in and say, you know, I'm using, I'm trying to find a product for anxiety. You can put that filter in there and then see what products people have used. And some of these reviews might be positive. Some of these reviews might be negative, but it's at the end of the day, you need that combination so you can understand what might potentially work best for you. So, you know, you mentioned earlier um, about kind of all the different journaling apps and you went through, I guess, as a patient perspective, um, what do you, as you were thinking about this product and this application, what do you think the biggest benefit, um, because you've added some features, like I can see there's reviews and you can kind of, so can you talk about um, the biggest benefits that people will get from the, using the app? I mean, obviously journaling is one of them, knowing the doses, that thing, that type of things, but can you go into a little bit more in depth on that? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing people can learn is, you know, again, learning what's working best for them, but just understanding that they're not alone. I think that's a really key component right there. Yeah. Uh, people can understand, like, if they look at the review section, I look at it daily, I'm just like, wow, they just keep populating, keep populating. So I think that goes a long way to having people feel like, because there's a lot of people, right, who said, you know, I'm, I've been using these pills or using this forever and reefer madness has been stuck in my brain forever. But now they're starting to say, you know what, I'm giving it a try. What the heck? Let's do it. What else do I have to lose? 
And when they look at this review section, the tetragram, they realize that there's thousands upon tens of thousands of people sharing their experiences. And so that makes people feel a lot more comfortable about experimenting with cannabis. And I think that's the biggest benefit of the platform is that people don't feel alone. Well, and that, that word community comes to mind when you say that, right? So there's like, a, it beco it's becoming its own little community. A hundred percent. And, you know, this data that we're collecting, you know, when we pull it out the back end, it's anonymous data. And that data just goes far reaching in terms of helping standing up this industry, not only as a consumer, but also as a dispensary agent. So that they can see products that people have been using and finding relief with. And that helps them be more consultative with the customer so that next time I go into a dispensary, you know, at some point they're going to be like, hey, Otha, what are you here for? Well, I'm looking for something for my knee pain. Well, instead of them saying, well, I tried this last week, let's start here. Now they can say, well, based upon data that Tetragram has provided, 4,000 people have used this product. So let's, let's start there. And that's huge in what this industry really needs. It's so true because we we do not have research and data available to be able to offer it to folks that are coming in for specific needs. It's exactly what you said, Otha, earlier when you first started speaking about, uh, you know, we, we can talk to these wonderful bud tenders and managers that are behind the counter. But at the end of the day, you know, they're they really are going off of, you know, what other patients are saying, you know, if, if they have a, a gentleman come in that is using a specific solve and he's a, you know, landscaper and says, this is really does the trick for me at the end of the day, you know, he's just taking that, that verbiage and, and using it to apply to another customer that might come in and, and, you know, have similar sorts of ailments. So this product that you have is really able to, you know, say with large numbers, look, you know, 4,000 people can't be wrong here. You know, this is really working for them. So, I mean, it's it's really, when you look at the big picture of, of what this is able to provide for, for data, it's really phenomenal. Yeah, and to that point, you mentioned a key word, which is research, right? So that's something I'm huge on. So like, Tetragram is a chameleon, and you can say that. So like we have the consumer-facing app where we collect data, analyze that data, and then publish it. But we also have the research arm too. So, you know, our platform is utilized with researchers, uh, universities, um, and brands as well. Because, you know, in any other industry, when a brand puts a product out there, it's very easy for them to use different metrics, uh, not metrics, marketing tactics in order to understand the impact of their product. Um, but in cannabis, being that it's federally illegal, we don't have those marketing channels that everyone, every other industry is able to utilize. So it's really disjointed in terms of the manufacturer and gathering consumer feedback. Um, so when brands are starting to look at Tetragram is, well, we got this product that we're cultivating or this product that we're going to package. Let's do some testing. Let's do some research with our own employees or, you know, allow consumers to join this research opportunity so that we can understand what that benefit might be and then promote it more effectively. Um, but yeah, research is something that's key. So, you know, the College of New Jersey we worked with um, have a relationship with John Hopkins. So really excited to see where the future takes us. Yeah, me awesome. too. Can you talk a little bit about the session? So when you go into a session, what um, kind of the process behind that of what people would do and record in their session on the app? Yeah, absolutely. So with this beta version, the first thing you do is our logo is prominent right in the middle of the home screen. So you would just click on that logo and that will take you to the session flow. And so the first thing a, a customer would do is say, OK, I bought this product. And then they would type in that product name into the search bar. Um, now, our database has over like 10,000 different products. So chances are it might be already in there. Right. But the thing that um, we have to have that customer do is tell us what the terpenes and cannabinoids are. And hopefully they live in a state where they have access to that information um, and they're able to manually input that information, which is something we're changing in version two. So no more manual entry coming soon. Um, but once they enter in that product information, then they are able to type in that dispensary name where they made that purchase. 
Um, and again, we have a list of all the dispensaries around the country, but of course that grows daily. So, yeah. you know, chances are it might be a dispensary that's already in there, but if not, you know, we made Tetragram open architecture so that you're not blocked if we don't have that data. You can just enter in that product name or that dispensary name and it'll be saved moving forward. Nice. Um, and, and then, as I mentioned, you can select how, you, how you're how you going to consume that product. So. I mentioned how you can do it through inhalation, but then if it's orally or topically, uh, we have subcategories there so that you can say, well, if it's oral, you know, I'm taking a gummy or I'm taking, um, you know, RSO or tincture. And then the unit of measurement switches to milligrams, of course, because that's how those oral and topical products are measured. Um, and then you can select the medical condition. So we did put some default conditions in the platform so you don't have to type out every one. But again, when I mentioned um, open architecture, we even customize it. So, you know, journaling and just itself, it needs to be personalized to that individual user. So we give customers the ability to say, hey, this is a custom symptom that I'm looking to treat with cannabis. And they can say that it'd be part of their profile. Um, and then once they do that, they can uh, take pictures too, which is something that I wanted to include because I know when I was first starting to uh, get into the industry and visit different dispensaries, I would always keep like the label or the jar and be like, this is the product I'm looking for, right? <laughs> um, and so now I, I took that understanding and said, well, let's give, give people the ability to include pictures so that they can just take a picture of the label and save that if they wish. Um, and then they can rate the effectiveness of that product. So they did treat their symptom. You know, uh, what was the flavor? What was the appearance? And then there's a text box where they can write some really detailed notes. And I gotta tell you, like I've seen some of these notes be paragraphs long. So, you know, people are really dumping their experience into this note section and then saving it. Um, and, and as I mentioned, then you can share that anonymously or keep it exclusive to yourself. Um, and it is available Tetragram on both iOS and Android devices as well. It's awesome. Talk a little bit about the, so the reviews are like you were saying it, when you go through, it's unbelievable to see how does, um, how does that feature work? Is that something that anybody can just add a review like on a product? How does that feature yeah. work? Yeah. So once you get to the bottom of logging, logging all the initial information, you just hit save. And then there's a pop up window that will ask you, do you want to share it or save it? And once you share it, then it goes directly to the reviews, what I like to call the community board. Um, and the community board is where you can just sift through, like I said, thousands upon thousands of reviews and see what other people are using. Um, and so when you share that information, um, that review, it's pulling the product name. It's pulling the reasons you were using that product. So, you know, fibromyalgia, improved sleep. Um, and then it's pulling your rating of the product and then all your detailed notes. Um, so that's all. That's everything that is sharing, which is another improvement that we're doing with version two. Uh, but, you know, you have the ability to do so. So people can really learn from you. I mean, I've learned tons about different products I've never heard of just through that review section. So it's really powerful. And I think reviews in this online world are huge, right? I think many yeah. of us make decisions on certain things based on what people say. So, you know, like the the buying power of reviews is essential, right? Oh, yeah. I think we can all say that um, whenever we make a purchase, we're reading a review before we make hit that uh, submit button. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think, Ota, really did you, did you uh, kind of uh, uh, equate uh, Tetragram almost to like the, the Yelp? of cannabis in a way, because, you know, look mm -hmm. at how much we yeah. rely on just where we're going to go eat or where we're going to make a, a purchase <laughs> or, uh, you know, of, of a, a product of, a, you know, a, a, a dishwasher or, you know, anything. I mean, you know, you can go to anywhere and, and, you know, on Yelp and, and see where was, uh, you know, people having success and where were they not? And, most of, I would say most of us as humans, we want to go where, you know, there was success. So this app is, is, is leading you to, you know, where you will find success in your cannabis journey. I mean, it's, it's really phenomenal. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Um, you know, I, I never thought about the Yelp uh, analogy until I started pitching Tetragram to, you know, investors or, you know, even people like yourself, Emily, when I was just talking about it with you, people were like, 
this is kind of like Yelp. I was like, you know what? It is. <laughs> but, you know, there's more of a uh, definitely a medical focus, of course. And this definitely, you know, yeah, with an application is it's improving people's lives. And definitely. You know, I mean, it, it, it yeah, that. you're 100 percent right. It, it's it's, uh, you know, it's done in an extremely professional manner. It, it is aided to be able to help with that medical piece of it. Of course, you know, it's it's. Uh, you know, for for those especially, I know, I mean, it's it's for any one using cannabis. But I I think what I really love so much about it, and what was uh, initially um, got me so excited, is you know, for those new patients that we have, it is just a no brainer because we're right. always making sure to say to them, you know make a note journal you know say what where you know what time you started and and you know when it hit and you know the dosage you know we're always saying go low and slow so you know this is the perfect way to be able to track this for yourself so that you know you can see you know your entire journey when you begin so that you know you know what what's working what's not working and it will just help you be so much more effective with sticking to your cannabis regime and, and continuing to have success because there's nothing worse than we when we see folks that have you know got a you know, mustered all the strength to come see us and and get their their certification and they get their products and then they give up after you know a a, a certain amount of time because they're just saying, oh, this just didn't work for me. Well, this is a way to really help make it work for you. Yeah, and that's why I can't thank you enough for the beautiful work that you do and all other medical professionals, educators, um, certification companies that, you know, take that extra step to walk that customer through their personal journey with cannabis, because to your point, it's uh, it's frustrating at times. I mean, and cannabis is not cheap. So at the end of the day, utilizing a tool like Tetragram can help you find that right product, that right dosing quicker. Um, without giving up. And then at the end of the day, it's just reducing the stigma, which is which is a beautiful yeah. thing that we are all fighting for daily. Yes, 100%. So let's talk about some of the new updates. So you so what's what's coming? Um, I know, um, <laughs> I know, I know we we have an inside view. And I know we're working on actually a blog post uh, coming out in the next week or so about those updates to share with our um, our community. So why don't you do tell? Do tell the secrets. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm excited. So uh, yeah, version two will be out in Q1 of next year. Uh, we are working diligently day and night on it. So let's go through the list. Um, one of the biggest things that we're doing, which I kind of uh, dropped a little nugget about earlier, is automating the product information because we understand it could be a headache to enter that product information every time. So you know, we're automating that process through our dispensary partners, as well as through a, a great third party that we have created a partnership with. So no longer will a customer have to enter that product information. Um, another thing that's important that we did was allow people to add multiple products to one session, which is huge because a lot of people layer their medicine. And what we've noticed in our beta version is that people would log a session and then directly after they would log another session. So that gave me the, the understanding that they were using two products at one time. So instead of having to log two individual sessions, you can capture multiple products in one session. Uh, we are also incorporating a QR code feature. So this is something I'm really excited about and definitely where the industry is headed, where QR codes are going to be placed on every product at some point when we, when the industry gets its act together and understands the real importance of standardization of labels. And so this QR code, it will actually take customers directly to the COA, the lab results. Um, I will like to give a shout out to Mary Med because they're uh, really leading the way and making sure that every Mary Med product, whether that be Betty's Eddie's, which is, you know, Massachusetts, right? Um, you know, uh, Nature's Heritage products, uh, Confusion, they, all of those products carry a QR code that take the customers directly to the COA. Um, another thing that we're doing is including the ability for people to create groups. So this is something I'm really excited about. Because me as a consumer, um, Emily as, you know, Medwell, um, dispensaries, um, you know, you name it, can actually create their own group on Tetragram. 
And I did this because, as we all know, these social platforms that exist today are very policing of cannabis content. But a lot of people use these platforms as a way to learn and engage with other people about their experiences. So we can have people migrate to Tetragram where they don't have to worry about their account getting shut down, but they also have the ability to not only share this cannabis or cannabis experience, but their own sessions. So now we're talking about really rich data that is being shared between each other. Um, you know, just taking our review section that we have currently and just pumped it full of steroids, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so that's exciting. And then on top of that, we're allowing customers to share their profile, their customer journal directly with organizations such as Medwell, um, directly with their doctor, which I thought was huge because, you know, if Emily tells me, hey, if I want you to try this tincture, you know, try it, come back to me. A lot of times that customer would they'll try that tincture, but they'll forget to follow up with Emily or a month will pass and Emily will be like, all right, so how did that tincture work? Oh, I don't remember. How much did you take? Oh, I don't remember. So now allowing that patient to have a direct conduit to their doctor to say, hey, Emily, I tried that tincture. This is how it made me feel. And she could review that in real time. It's huge in terms of not, not only strengthening the relationship between patient and, doc and, and doctor, but we're both learning in real time, which I, I think is just going to be fascinating. Absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. So let's, um, as we kind of wrap up, um, uh, well, and before that, it's funny you were talking about QR codes because we actually met while we were talking about them yesterday. Yeah, I was thinking that, April, that we, were, we were just talking yeah. about that in a, a recent oh, really? Well, because remember they were out there and they, you know, and it was, it, you had to download a QR app reader and all this stuff. And then uh, the pandemic happened and now we do it with our phone. They're kind of inherent. Right. We, we really try to put them on any outward facing marketing collateral now, but yeah. it's just, you know, it's funny because now they're like, you sit down at a table and sometimes there's no menu. You just use your QR code, <laughs> right? right? right. Like, you have yeah. to use a QR code. So the, the universe kind of forced us into getting used to them. And now I think it's very commonplace to have to, you know, rely on them. So well, well and I think of I think of our um our 20 year olds and my teenagers and when COVID and the QR code came back, I was like, these they they thought they were great. I was like, no, we've had these. They just went to like, you know, they went to the <laughs> junk pile and now they're back but they are pretty cool so. yeah 100 yeah, like covid has definitely resurrected the qr code technology <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. whoever invented it hopefully like copyrighted that and made some money on that <laughs> you know because they, they thought they were a dead duck in the water and we are. <laughs> um, um, but lastly i do want to mention that we created portals too so now our dispensary partners, our partners like Medwell can actually have access to all this aggregate data that we've collected. So we're no longer sitting on it. Now we're putting it out there to our partners um, so that you guys can utilize this data to better assist customers. And um, I'm really excited to either create in that, that relationship where we can provide this data to the industry. I, I love that because, you know, our doctors and nurse practitioners are, are you know, they love hearing what is, you know, working for, for patients, you know, what what's out there. I mean, it's, you know, it's very similar to what the dispensaries, uh, what I was mentioning earlier with, you know, someone walking in and saying what worked and what didn't work. It's, it's very similar for, you know, our staff too. They are, you know, a lot of them go that extra mile and, and do research on their own, but it's more effective when they have that patient saying, you know, this was really helpful for me, you know, this, this worked great. So to be able to have that is just amazing. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's uh, bringing everyone closer through through data is what I'm starting to say. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Awesome, awesome. So, um, I did post in the um, um, in the chat here um, where to grab the app. Um, is there anything we should know on other places that maybe people can connect with you? Is it um, the website here, um, tetragramapp.com? Is that the best place for people to connect with you? Uh, that place and also LinkedIn, I would definitely advise anyone if they want to get in touch with me, uh, hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, I keep a window, a LinkedIn window open at my computer. So I'm always chiming in with people and I got an open door policy. Like, 
you know, our slogan at Tetragram is built for patients by patients. And so people think I'm crazy when I give out my personal cell phone number, but I'm, I'm here. I'm part of this community. I'm part of this, this industry, this culture. And so, you know, if there's anything I can do, which is just pick up a phone and talk to anyone to give guidance or this insight, I'm here for you. So uh, LinkedIn is one way to find me for sure and connect. Um, also on Instagram at the Tetragram app, and you have to make sure you spell it completely out. So the Tetragram app, <laughs> of course, that social platform has shadow banned us, uh, which is just ridiculous. But um, you know, this is what we're dealing with, and that's why I created that group section. So, <laughs> so those guess. are the best ways to find me. Yeah. Social media yeah. is definitely it. for yeah. snickety, for sure. <laughs> 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 we have great ideas. Unfortunately, we can't execute like 85% of them. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, we face the, the whiplash. Well, uh, Otha, thank you so much for your yes. time today and sharing all these updates. And we'll look forward to having you back in the new year when we, you know, actually, um, maybe next time um, I will hook up. Um, I actually was thinking about it today. I can hook up my phone and maybe we can share screens of the app. We'll, we'll do that next time um, where people can see it on screen. Yeah, you know, actually, that's a great idea. Um, I'd love to do that. We, we can reconnect uh, once B2 is out and we can yeah. actually do a demo of it live. I think that would be a phenomenal idea. Yeah, I love that idea too. I, I think sometimes it's it's so much easier for folks to visualize it as it's as you know you're explaining. So uh, we'll definitely plan that uh, once you're able to get launched. Yeah, well, I appreciate uh, again you guys who are having me on again. I know you're extremely busy, so taking time out to chat with me and just a tech nerd is always appreciated. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I just can't uh, thank you guys enough for everything that you do, and you know, stay blessed for sure. Oh, thank the, ple you. the pleasure is ours. We know how yeah. busy you are. So thank you for coming thank on you. again. It's it's always an absolute pleasure having you here. And no because likewise. we're in November, wishing you happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Happy Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends. Um, Otha, thank you so much. Emily, thank you so much. And friends tuning in, thank you so much. We appreciate you, each and every one of you. Um, Emily and I will look forward to seeing you next Thursday, same time, same place. Um, and if you do are catching a replay, feel free to drop a question in here. Um, and we'll look forward to um, replying and seeing you again next week. Have a fabulous day, friends, and we'll talk soon. Be good.